Have you ever been so angry that sometimes you just want to erase people from your pictures? Well, today we're going to learn the best technique to easily remove people from your pictures using Photoshop. So if you're ready to learn some cool Photoshop tricks, then grab your snacks, get comfortable, and let's get cracking. This video is brought to you by the official Francois Formi store. The brand new Let's Get Cracking range has just dropped and it's looking fresh. Get 5% off your first order with coupon code FRANCOIS5 by following the link in the video description. What's up everyone, my name is Francois, thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful day. Today I've got a quick Photoshop technique that I wanted to share with you because I'm sure you've been in a similar position to mine. You're out and about, taking pictures, waiting for the one, waiting for the money shot, when all of a sudden the planets align, time slows down and finally appears. The perfect picture is right in front of you waiting to be taken. So what do you do? You take it. And when you come home, you realize that someone, usually eating an ice cream, has photobombed your perfect picture. So after all the patience you've put in, after shooting tens of pictures to get the one, only to get it ruined by some ice cream eating bystanders, you're this close to throwing the towel. Well, not today, my friend, because Uncle Francois is here to save the day and show you how to easily fix this issue and get rid of all ice cream eaters. In your pictures, of course, otherwise that would be absolutely crazy. But not before you smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Feel free to carrot and chop that bad boy if that's your thing, because don't worry, like buttons feel no pain. So here we are in Photoshop, this is my picture, and as you can see, this is an absolute mess. This wasn't just one photobomber, it was tens and tens of them. I won't take care of all of them for this tutorial, otherwise we'd be here for ages, but instead I will show you a few different methods so that you can achieve this technique no matter what version of Photoshop you're using. Even if you're one of these legends who still uses Photoshop CS6 in 2021, I know you're out there. For the first technique, what we're going to do is bring up any selection tool, I'm going to use the lasso tool by pressing L on my keyboard. Let's make a selection around this person right here. Now let's bring up the brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard. And basically what we're going to do is fill the selection we just made with a similar color to the ones around it. To select a color, keep the brush tool on and hold down Alt on your keyboard. This will bring up a little eyedropper icon. Let's sample this greenish color. Let go of the old key and now this color has been selected as our foreground color. Now let's paint within that selection and bosh! You've just removed the person from a picture using Photoshop. Okay, okay, this is only the first half of this technique. Now with the selection still active and any selection tool on, go up to select, go down to modify and choose expand. Type in any number between 20 and 40 roughly. As the name suggests, this will expand the selection. Now right click on it and choose fill. This will bring up a new menu. Make sure this is set to content aware and leave the opacity to 100. And now it's removed the person properly. Oh yeah, baby. So the reason why we've painted in the selection first and then expanded it is because this selection is using Adobe's AI. If you leave the person in and use the content aware field directly on it, you might get some confusing results like nightmare fuel type stuff. Okay, so if the content aware tool isn't working for you or if you simply haven't got it because you're using an older version of Photoshop, there's another technique you can use. Once again, make a rough selection around the person you want to remove using any tool you want. Just for a change, I'll be using the polygonal lasso tool. I can cycle through the lasso tools by pressing Shift and L on my keyboard until this icon appears. Now let's go to the patch tool. You can press J on your keyboard for that. And what this tool allows you to do is to drag that selection somewhere on the picture and it's going to replace the current selection with the new one. Clever, isn't it? Just make sure you've got source selected here and not destination. Okay, let's do it on a different person. Let's try this lady here. You can actually keep the patch tool on to make the selection. Amazing. Now, before we get on to the third and last technique to remove people from your pictures using Photoshop, I'd like to ask you to please smash the like button if you're getting any value out of my video. It would really help the channel out with the algorithm and it would mean the world to me. Now, let's get cracking again. So for the last technique I'll be showing you to remove people from your pictures, you don't have to make a selection. Simply press S on your keyboard to bring up the clone tool, or go here if you wish. Now if you click anywhere on the picture, nothing will happen at first. In fact, you'll be met with this dialog box. So just to quickly explain how the clone tool works, basically it takes a source sample from your picture, which can then be painted wherever you want in other parts of your picture. So in order to sample the source, hold down Alt on your keyboard. We're going to sample an area that has a lot of grass around it. Let's click here. Now Photoshop will remember that area as being your new brush, so to speak. So let's use that to paint over a new person. You can adjust the brush size with the left or right brackets on your keyboard. And you can also adjust the feather or softness of that brush by holding shift and using the same keyboard keys. Or you can also just right click here and choose those settings over here. So I'm going to go with a very feathered brush and simply paint over this lady here. And bosh, 
finished, finito, fini, parfait. Now this guy is talking to no one. Someone call security, please. So let's do a quick before and after. So that's with the content aware field tool, before, after. So that's with the patch tool, that's before and after. And finally with the clone tool, that's before and after. So there you have it. These are the best ways to remove people from the pictures using Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you did and you didn't mind my accent, you can like this video as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also feel free to get subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you'd like to support my work and growing channel, you can check out my brand new merch and Lightroom presets on my website. I'll have all of that linked in the description below. Finally, if you're wondering what to watch next, I recommend you to watch this video right here. Thanks again for watching. My name is Francois. See you in the next video.